Good morning. Uh, here we are at week three <clears throat> of e-learning. Uh, what we're going to do today is finish up another brick in the wall for the instruments. Um, this week's pass off will be the segment that you did for your instrument last week on this video. By next week, we're looking at doing this entire song and we're going to start looking into the um, the rest of the pieces. Um, this video is going to be for woodwinds only. Uh, last week, I realized that uh, it took too much to try to put it all into one video, so I'm splitting it up. So if you are a brass player, if you'll go ahead and hop over to the other video, where I will do just the brass parts, okay? So let's start with flute. All right, flutes. We are going to start um, with a little bit of overlap from, from last week, and that's okay, all right? So last week, we were um, going through this section right here until the end, all right? So here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to do just a little bit of review going from measure 23 uh, right here so that we get all these little uh, syncopated parts and all these 16th notes. Now, if you looked in Google Classroom, one of the things you should have noticed in Google Classroom this past week is I put a woodwind post with um, fingerings for these upper octaves. Okay, there's a flute one, there's a clarinet one, and there's a saxophone one. So this measure here, flute ones, this measure here, flute ones, um, that is something you're going to want to look at. Make sure that you read them very carefully to know which, which notes you're supposed to be playing. And there are fingerings for those notes as, long, as well as um, alternates. So you can experiment as, as far as which one sounds the best and use your tuner to, to see which one comes out the best. Okay? All right. So <clears throat> starting here, let's slowly just kind of work our way through uh, these rhythms. All right. We stopped, uh, I believe, about right here, here-ish last week. And sorry, I'm having some trouble with the lighting. It keeps flinging around. Um all right, so slowly, this would be one and a two, three and a four, one and a two, three and a four, one and a one E, two. Okay, so take a look. The dot here, one E, two. So the long note is, is here. Okay, short, long, two. One E, two E, and a three, four. One and a two, three and a four. One and a two, four and a one. Two E, three and a four. One E all the way to beat four. One E and two E three four E and. Okay, let me do that one again. One E and two E three four E and one two E and all the way to beat three of this measure. Okay? So that's, it's, it's a little hard to find in the um, recording because what happens in the recording uh, as you're going through is you will realize that almost all the instrument parts are moving at different times, okay? It's supposed to be uh, kind of chaotic at that moment. So you've got to make sure what you're doing is following along with, with your rhythm, okay? All right. So uh, let's go ahead and, and go on to this next section slowly, and then we'll start piecing it together um, and speed it up, okay? All right, so we come to here. This part here is actually almost identical to this part up here. The only difference is it comes with a pickup, and it's a, just a tiny bit longer, 
Okay, so it'd be one, two, three, and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one three and a okay, so it's one three and a and then this one's a little bit tricky. All right, so this is on beat one. So this is E and one E, a three, and a E and. Okay, that's that's a little bit tricky. It, it, it's happening in all the places you don't think it's supposed to. Okay, so E and, two E, a three, and a E and. Okay, boom, ba da, ba da, ba da, da da, da da. All right, and it's a it's a little bit tricky. All right, and then this last one is actually the melody. One and 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 one two and 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 then you hold all the way to the end. Okay, so let's slowly go through this whole this whole little segment and then we'll we'll do it with the recording um in the segment and then we'll go back and actually do the whole, whole song so you'll have a chance to to follow along with this whole thing okay all right so from 23 i'm gonna do it on da uh so i don't say wrong numbers all right but very slowly two ready go Bum ba da, bum ba da, bum ba da, da da da. Da 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 da, da 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 da. Dum da da, dum da da, dum da da. Da da da, di da. Da di da da da. Oh, I'm sorry, I messed that one up. Da di da di da da di da da di da. Get a measure of rest. One, two. Da da di da 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 di da da di da 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 Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to look at this with um, just that segment <clears throat> with the recording following along. So here's one of the things that you're going to want to really listen for. Um, you're going to want to listen to find, especially in these brass parts, okay, in these brass parts, you're going to want to find which one you are going along with as you're doing these different parts, okay? Um, the trumpets in general, the trumpets are doing lots of different things uh, within the trumpet section and the clarinets and things like that. So the goal is everybody figuring out which part um, you need to be um, going along with. Because sometimes it can be a little hard to hear... Um, all these these different parts okay and I apologize about that I, I was having a little trouble I'm having trouble seeing um, these different parts um so let's go back actually let's do this um i'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning and and go ahead and do this whole thing and then we'll stop and and do just that segment in here in a second one two three
Ava. And that gets us to the end. So let's go back. Um, let's go back to about 17 so we can get into it. Okay. So here's what here's what I would do as you're listening to it, as you're as you're listening to it and trying to speed it up. And obviously I'm going super slow and then playing it at tempo. So what you have to do is you have to fill in the in between. OK, start slow, get to the end. Don't try to jump from super slow to what I just did. Um, but here's what I will tell you as we're looking at these different parts at measure 23. All right, at measure 23, you do not start with any of the trumpets, okay? The trombone, the baritone, and trumpets, and mellophones start on beat 4 of measure 22. You start on beat 1 of 23, and then the, the first trumpets start on beat 2 of 23. So what you have to make sure that you're doing as you are listening to these parts is what you should hear there at 22 Bum, them da da you da da them da da you da da and it goes back and forth so make sure that you're trying to to find those parts okay um so then as you keep going at measure 27 you're on the downbeat trumpets are on beat two you're on ones and threes the trumpets are more or less on um twos and fours so so there's a trade-off going back and forth, all right? That's going to be the hard part. The first time y'all are really together is at measure 31, okay? So when you get to measure 31, that's the first time you should be playing your high part with the trumpet high part. ba -dee da dee da da dee da da dee da That you have with them, okay? So if, if you will aim for those spots as you're listening to it and finding your part. And um, this this is where it gets, this is where we really, really need to be together uh, because this is really hard to do on your own. So try your best to do it. Um, then come on and ask questions if you need questions. My other suggestion for you is to call someone in one of these other sections, try to work with each other um, to try to figure out each other's part. Cause that's the one thing I can't do. Okay. Well, I can't do all the parts with you. Okay. 
So uh, take a look at that. Uh, let's let's take a real quick look at the flute two part. I don't really think there's a whole lot different. Um, it looks to me that the rhythms throughout that entire section are exactly the same. Um, most of it is just a third lower than, than the top part. Um, so if you're not sure about some of the fingerings, you can look them up. Um, it looks like the highest note in there, maybe a high E flat, which most of you should know. Um, so one of the other things I would suggest flutes is if you are struggling with the first flute part, meaning you, the notes, not the rhythms, but the notes, what I would do is take a look at the rhythms in this in the second flute part. Go ahead and play through the second flute part. Once once you are getting a little bit more comfortable with the rhythms, then take a look at the higher notes in in the flute one part. Okay, or you can look at the flute one part and take it down the octave. All right, but what you don't want to do is be struggling on the pitches and the rhythms at the same time because that's going to give you a lot of trouble. Try to get one of the two first and then try to put them together. All right. Um, so make sure that you're checking in Google Classroom daily. And Ms. Green and I are live every day from 12 to 3. You can come in and ask questions. All right. Good luck. Hello, clarinets. Uh, so we are looking at the the last section of another brick in the wall uh you should have already done a pass off for the first about 17 20 measures this week there will be another pass off on this on the section that we did last week and then by next week we should be more or less be able to to kind of slowly play through the whole song okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start um kind of in the middle of where we started last week, just to give us a, a chance to, to connect the two. And then uh, we're gonna try to finish out this part, okay? Now, as we, as we are going through these parts, I will go ahead and let you know, this is the confusing part of the song, because what's happening now is you're all doing something a little bit different, okay? Uh, we're coming in all different times. This is the chaotic part of the song so so you got to make sure that you are following your part and not trying to jump on any of these other brass parts okay all right so here's what we're going to do we're going to go back to to 23 okay and this is the uh first clarinet part so here's the good news the good news is you are more or less with the flutes the bad news is in the recording, you can't really hear the flute part always because the brass is taking over. Almost never, almost never are you with the brass. So you got to make absolutely sure that you're following along with these parts. Okay, so very slowly without the ties, measure 23. One and a two, three and a four. One and a two, three and a four, and a one e, two e and a three, one e and two, three and a four, one e and three and a four. Oh, I'm so so sorry. I'm so so sorry. Let's let's come back just right here. One and a four and a two e three and a one e one e and two a three four e and two e and all right. So you can see there's there's a lot of of syncopation in there that you really got to be careful of okay so let me go through that again clarinets and if you're looking at the second clarinet part um here at 23 all right you take a look the rhythms are not exactly the same but they're very very close okay so we'll come to the second clar clarinet part in just a second but if you will seconds if you'll look at this first part uh it'll help you with with this rhythm okay all right, so with the ties, 
one and a three and a one and a three and a and a one e two e and a one and a three and a one and a four and a two e and a one a one e and a three four e and two e and all right so as you're going through that section what i would really look for what i would do is mark the beginnings of each one Okay, so as I'm looking through each one, I am I'm looking to see, okay, this is on one, three, one, three, all right, one, two, one, three, and go through it that way because the hard part is going to be knowing when to start because in between you doing all this, the other parts are doing other things, okay? All right, so let's hop down to, to uh, looks like 35. So this would be one, two, and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one and a, okay? Now, this little measure right here is a little bit tricky, all right? So after you go three and a, this is E and one E, a three and a e and okay it's actually much harder to say than it is to play so this would be uh three and a e and one e a three and a e and okay so three four da 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 Okay, so uh, it, it's it's very syncopated right there as well. All right, so we skip, we go two measures of rest, and then you get one and 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 one two and and, which is the melody, and you hold it out to the end. Okay, all right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start here and just kind of daw through it slowly with you. Okay, one, two, twenty-three. Bum ba da, bum ba da, bum ba da, bum ba da. Da da di da, da da di da. Dum da da, dum da da, da da da. Da 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 di da di da da di da da di da. Okay, then we can go through this measure and get one, two. Da da di da di da di da. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm reading it backwards. One. Two, da da di da di da 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 da three, di da di da di da di da di da di da. Okay, and that's it very very slowly, but that's where you need to start. Okay, all right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to um about measure seventeen. Okay. And we're going to listen to the recording from 17 to the end. Four, one, two, three, four. One, three, one, three.
okay? And hold to the end. So, what you probably realize as we're going through is you were like, okay, well, that makes sense and that made sense. But this, all this right here in the middle, you were hearing mostly the trumpets. You are not really with the trumpets, okay? So, that's what I need you to, to understand, all right? Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of walk you through a couple of those measures. Clarinet 2, make sure that you're listening to this part as well, even though we're, we're not on your specific part at this moment. Okay. So, by measure 22, okay, on measure 22, the trumpets and the trombones come in on beat 4 of measure 22. Okay. On the downbeat of 23, that's when you start playing. And then on the second beat of 23, the first trumpets and the seconds and thirds play a new note. Okay? So what you get in slow motion is measure 22, 2, 3, bum, ba, da, you, da, da, them, da, da, you, da, da, them, da, da, you, da, da. And it goes back and forth that way. Okay? Now, when it's faster, it's hard to find those spots. Okay? But what we should hear again at 22... Um, one, two, three. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da. So again, this is why I was saying you need to look at those parts as far as um, knowing which beat you play on. A lot of times you're ones and threes and they are twos and fours. Now, as we keep going, uh, if I measure 27 for me. Okay, so 27, again, you're on ones and threes. One and a, uh, three and a, uh, one and a. Uh, then you come in on four. This is really the first time you've been on four here at measure 28. Four and a, uh, and a, uh, da da. And then, and then again, it changes just a little bit. Okay. Now, the first time, the very first time that you are completely with the trumpets is at measure 31. Okay. 31. Ba -dee da dee da da dee da. That's the first time you're together, okay? So these are moments where you need to find in your music and listen and try to find your part. This is very, very difficult. This is really the, the thing we have to do in class. There's, there's really, it's almost impossible to do this without each other, okay? So you're trying to get as close as you can. What I would suggest is, is call around, find somebody else, Excuse me, some of you have siblings who are playing different parts. You can call somebody, FaceTime with them, try to figure out these parts. This is the really difficult part, okay, is finding your part within the group, okay? So that's what you need to be doing. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Um, first clarinet. I'm about to go over the second clarinet part, but don't disappear completely. What I'm going to do is do a little bit of the clarinet two part, and then I'm going to do the whole song. Okay, so if you want to skip over just a little bit, you can, but don't don't disappear. Okay, we're going to come back and do your whole the whole section here in a second. Okay, clarinet two. So here's what we need to do for you. Yours is just a little bit different, just a little bit. Okay, so let's start here at twenty three. This is more or less the same. Okay. Bum ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da. Okay, so we've already done all this. This is why you need to go back if you didn't, if you skipped all the way to where it said two, you need to go back and listen to the first part. Okay, now here it changes just a little bit. So here you're holding this G. One, two, three, four, and. And a three, four, and so ba da da, ba da da, ba da da. That's different than the first part. Okay, so one, ba di da, di da da, di da da, and then you go come back with them. Bum ba da, bum ba da, bum ba da, and then you're with them for the rest. Da di da, di da, di da. All this is the same as the firsts, okay? Just make sure you're playing E flat. E flat is that top um, middle pinky in your right hand, okay? This is also the same. Bum, beta, 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 
okay and this is the same so this is the only thing that's rhythmically different than the first part so again if you just skip the first part and try to jump on don't okay go back find those rhythms if you have questions about the notes that's what 12 to 3 every day is for for you to come on and ask okay all right so here's what i'm going to do um let's go back to the beginning let's go back to the beginning and listen to the whole thing. Okay? Here's the first clarinet. Anytime. Here we go. Here you are with the now. So clarinet one, what I, again, you see what I mean now, where you can't really hear a lot of these parts in the recording. You hear the brass parts, all right? So you got to make absolutely sure that you are counting. If it feels like you're playing at a different time than the recording, uh, the brass parts, that means it's probably correct, all right? So if you're not sure when those parts are, hop back to when I was talking about that and write those in your part, okay? All right, clarinet two, let's do the same thing. Now you're with them here. Those are your clarinet parts. It's 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 difficult stuff. Don't think that it's not. It's it is difficult stuff. So you got to make sure that you're doing it slow. Do it the way when I'm counting it slow. 
so that when you go back, don't just try to jump from the slow to, to the recording. There's an in-between space that you use. You have to do the in-between. You can't just go from super slow to the recording. You've got to speed it up. You've got to find those spots. Okay? Good luck. All right, altos. So here's what I need you to do. One is I need you to make sure that um, you have watched the first two. If you haven't watched the first two videos, do not just jump to this one. You need to get off of this one and jump back and try to and, and listen to these first couple spots. Okay, so to this point, you should have done a pass off on the first about 17, 20 measures. You'll have another pass off due this week from about 17 to about 30-ish, okay? And then this week, what we're going to do is go from about 30 to the end and, and try to put this whole thing together, okay? Now, the part we're going to do today is the most uh, difficult part to do without the other instruments. So it's going to take a little bit longer uh, as we try to piece it together, okay? All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with alto one. Uh, alto 2, what you need to do is you need to listen to the Alto 1 part, okay? Do not skip this and then just go to the Alto 2 part. I'm not going to do all these rhythms twice, okay? I'm going to do the rhythms here, and most of the rhythms are the same, and, and then when we go to look at the Alto 2 part, you'll be able to transfer what you did here over there, okay? <clears throat> all right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start right here at 23. Uh, last week, we should have finished somewhere in this area. Okay. So we're going to start here at 23 and do it very slowly. Okay. One, two, counting, and one, and a two, three, and a four, one, and a two, three, and a four. Four e and and a two three a four. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I completely jacked that up. Let's let's do that again. Uh, so this would be four e and and a two three e and one and a three and a one and a. That's the one that's gonna get you. Okay. This is the first one that's different. This one lasts all the way to the downbeat. Okay? Then one and a, and a, um, sorry, one, I apologize, saxophones, I'm having a, a brain malfunction. One E and a three, four E and a three, okay, or a two, excuse me. So this is one E and two, a three, four E and one, a two. All right. Then four and a, two and a, four E, a two. Now, it's hard enough to do it individually. It's hard enough to do it individually, but when you put it together, it's totally different because all of these parts are moving at different times. Okay, so I'm going to just do it on duh. But what I would suggest what you need to do is you need to go through and mark the beats where you start. Okay, so like starting at 23, you're on one, three, one, three, four. This is on beat one here, so you have to move on the and. This is on beat two. This is on beat three. Okay, so ba da da, dee da da, four e and, or three e and. Okay, so then one again, three, one, then one. Here's three, here's four. All right, four two, four, that is what you need to do. That is the only way, the only way you are going to be able to play this at the right time. 
If you're not doing that, you are guessing. If you're going along with the recording, I guarantee you, go ahead and put this in your brain right now, some of you saxophones, because when we get back to band camp, I'm going to say you are playing at the same time as the trumpets because you tried to listen to the recording and just played along with the trumpet part. You don't play with the trumpets. You do not play with the trumpets. Okay? You've got to find your part. Okay? All right, so... On da, two, three, da da da, da da da, da da da, da da da, di da da, di da da, di da da, da da da, da da da, da da da. Da di da, di da, da di da, di da, da di da, di di da, di da, di da, and then we'll come all the way over here. Then you come back to the melody. Three, four, one and 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 one two and two measures for rest and you repeat it one and 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 one two and and okay so let's go from about 17 excuse me let's go from about 17 and and see how that fits in there So you see now what I'm talking about. I was trying to call out your numbers because what you're finding out is all the things that you've been listening to are not your part. Those are the brass parts, which are a little bit different. Now, alto ones do not go away. I'm going to do just a little bit of alto two in the spots that might be just a little bit different. And then we're going to come back and do the whole thing. Okay, so don't go away just yet. Um, here, let's take a look from 17. I'm sorry, from 23, and let's take a look at, at this part. Now, alto two, the good news is for you, it is more or less exactly the same rhythms as the alto ones, okay? This was that one spot that's a little bit different, but we did that last week. If you didn't do it last week, you need to go back and make sure you do it, okay? Now, these are moving at the same time. This is the only thing right here that's a tiny bit different. All right. So as you go from 23, bum ba dum, bum ba dum, one and a, one and a. This is the one spot you do something different. You go one, two, three, four and, and a two, and a four. All right, that's different. The first do not have that. All right, you have that with the second clarinets. Okay, so bum ba dum, bum ba da, be da da, dee da da, be da da. That's the only spot that's different. Everything else down here and and here is with the first alto part, which is why you, if you skipped it and jumped all the way to this, you missed everything. You need to go back and make sure you check out that first alto part, 
okay? All right, so let's go from the beginning. We're gonna start from the beginning. I'll do the first alto part first, just going along with you. And then uh, we'll do the second part, okay? So first alto. One. One, three, one, three, four, one, three, one, 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 four, three, four. So spend some time with that alto one to find those parts. All right, let's hop back and let's look at the alto two part. Two, three, ones. Make sure alto twos, you need to be looking at this because we're probably going to have everybody play it. One. You are the melody there, twos. The first do not have that. One, two, one, three, four. One. Right, so there's a lot going on in there. My suggestion, saxophones, my suggestion is to find somebody in your section who can help you go back and forth and making sure that you're doing those other things. Also to check with somebody in another section. Most a lot of you have siblings who are in another section or you have a friend who's in another section is to find somebody to FaceTime with to make sure that you're playing at these different things. Because This is the one thing we can't do this way is we can't meet, okay? It's going to be up to you. You've got to make sure that you are trying to figure out these parts. Okay? Good luck. Don't forget about pass-offs. All right. Tenors. Tenor, tenor. So most of this beginning part was fairly simple. Okay? And we've gone a little bit further in your part than some of the others because we were trying to make sure we got all the way through. So let's just do a little bit of a review and, and go all the way to the end. So I want to start, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble seeing these numbers. Um, let's start at 27, okay? 
uh, kind of in the middle of what we were doing last week, and let's go from 27 to the end. So slowly counting. One and a two, three and a four, one and a two, four and a one, two E, three and a four, one E, two, one E and two, a three, four E and one, all the way to there. Okay? Now, on da without the without um, all the numbers. This is going to be just uh, on da with the ties. Okay? Uh, from 27. Bum ba dum, bum ba dum, bum ba da, bum ba da, ba da, da da, da da, da di da, di da, da di da. Okay? So, what I would do if I was you, I'd mark one, three, one, three, one, four, two. I would mark one, one, four. I'd mark all those places where you start. Because what you're going to find out in this section right here is all the instruments are doing all kinds of different things. And it's going to be on you to know which one you're on. It's supposed to sound chaotic, but it's controlled chaos, not just crazy okay all right let's let's go on and just finish this out most of it's just melody okay three four one and 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 one two and 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 two measures of rest three four one and 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 one two and 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 we hold all the way to the end okay so this song is not terrible for y'all 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 are okay but this little middle section you got to make sure you know where you are okay and i will tell you if you will mark in your parts the way to think about it is this when we get to about measure 23 at measure 23 you come in on beat one with the woodwinds not the low brass okay so you're with the rest of the saxophones then you change when you get to Oh, I'm sorry. You stay with the woodwinds. Or with the saxophones, I should say. You stay with the saxophones all the way to measure 28. And then on the fourth beat of 28, you're going to move with the trombones and the horns. Okay? Not with the altos. The altos are going to move with the trumpets, which is different. Okay? So you got to make sure you see which one you're going to do. So here's what I'm going to do for, for y'all because your part is not as complicated at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead all the way back to the beginning and we're going to do this whole thing. Okay? From measure one. Two, two, three, four, one. 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 So, again, what I would suggest, you hear how it's, I would go back and do this section a bunch of times, rewind this and go back 
and find these spots where you come in, okay? Because really what's happening in this part is it goes bump -a, bump -a, bump -a, bump -a, and it goes back and forth, okay? So it's going to be imperative that you know where yours are, okay? If you have any questions, that's what 12 to 3 every day is with my, me and Miss Green. You can send me questions. I can help you as much as possible. My suggestion is for y'all to get with each other on FaceTime or recordings or whatever it is to try to help each other knowing which these parts are not just for the tenor sax but also with the other parts so if you know an alto or you know a clarinet or whoever you might know who you could start putting some of these things together okay don't forget about pass offs you got one has been due you got another one due this week and you'll have another one due next week because we got to get these together okay Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.